Hey, Yuma, can we talk for a quick minute? What's up, uh, Sir Agnum? Just Agnum, please. And I've got a question for you, that's all. Listen, man, it feels like every time I see you, you're trudging around with the weight of the world on your shoulders. You okay? Huh? I, I appreciate that you're worried, but... Look, if you don't want to open up to some guy you just met, I get it, but the offer's on the table, okay? Bottling that stuff up ain't healthy. Not healthy, huh? I... I guess I can try. And you'll listen? Of course. Lay it on my ears, man. I've just been thinking about what happened with Genus, I mean. Everyone scrambled to protect me, right? Rina, Sonia, they tried to keep me safe so I could call on the dragon and bail them out. And I just couldn't. It was all I could do to stay on my feet. I squandered the chance they bit and clawed to give me. Uh -huh. Look, that guy's kind of a monster, and you're not exactly a soldier. It happens. He seemed like he meant it when he said he didn't want to hurt them, but... If he had, I don't think I could have saved them. And knowing that, I... You're torn up about missing your shot. Yeah, I get how that feels. But think about it. You've got the real live shining dragon inside you, right? The divine lord of all drake kind or whatever. Isn't that a good thing? No, you don't understand. That's exactly why I'm afraid of him. When I hold even just a bit of his power, it feels like I'm damming up the rest. Like it's ready to burst and drown everyone around me if I mess up. Hmm, guess it's true what they say about power and responsibility. No wonder you're so anxious about calling out to him, though. Like, if losing control of his power is that big a danger. Well, only one thing for it. We can figure this out together, you and me. Really? What is it? Practice, man. You gotta stay in the game if you want to get good. Practice? That's right. I bet it's like any skill, you know? Find someplace quiet and just jam it out until it's all second nature. Seems logical that the more time you spend practicing with Big Shiny, the less you'll risk losing the reins when you need him in a crisis. Is that how it works? Ah, shut it. You're not gonna know until you try, right? No, it's just... 
I've never even thought about how I'd go about, uh, training with him.
Well, now seems like a pretty good time to start, I'd say. Come on, at least give it a shot. Uh, okay. Come hit me up during my patrol tomorrow. We can get started then, probably. And seriously, don't worry about it, okay? If you really do go berserk, I'll be there to knock some sense back into you. Uh, all right. An Agnum? Thanks. Eh, thank me when I've done something worth thanking. Maybe once we see some results, yeah? So that's, so that's Agnum, Agnum, huh? I hadn't, I hadn't figured, figured him for that type at all. A little overbearing, maybe, but he seems like a good guy. Maybe practice won't be so bad. What's that sound?
Sounds like Kirika's singing. Listening to her is so soothing. You were faced with strength, yet you cling to fear. You mean, when I face Janus? Yes. That a mortal man could amass such power and go unnoticed is... rare. Yeah. It felt like he was on a higher plane, you know? Like I never stood a chance. To cross blades with him again would be your undoing. Exactly. It's like, what can I do? A weakling like me just can't keep up with skills like that. So why try? Self-pity, boy. From where I'm roosting, you may just exceed him, given time. What? Me? Right. Magnum said something like that too. That if I practice with you and him, then maybe. This thing will take time, but it is a necessary step. This is my counsel, should you desire it, you are. The world will try to make you compromise, to make you change who you are. I urge you to resist. Never change who you are, huh? That... Uh, are you sure about that? Because I thought getting stronger meant... changing. Some souls find strength in weakness. Others, shown strength, become blind to their weaknesses instead. That... I hear you, but I... I'm sorry. I don't understand. Hmm. 
And so I am left to wonder, just what does he seek that he pursues the last song of all things? So our task now is to obtain the souls of these world dragons? Precisely, precisely. All told, there are four world dragon souls scattered throughout Alfheim. The shining dragon aside, we require the souls of the earth dragon, the sea dragon, the sky dragon, and the dark dragon. Once those four souls are within our grasp, and the Shining Dragon is ours, then surely His Excellency's wish... ...will be realized. Yes, I see. But how do we find them? My troops are gathering information on their whereabouts as we speak. If I could ask your assistance in this, Princess Excella. Hmm. I suppose that would be efficient. Running off on a scavenger hunt, huh? Is that gonna be any fun?
Zest? No, let him speak. Zest, perhaps you would be more interested in pursuing the Shining Dragon than searching for the souls? I don't know, really. Yorg didn't make him sound like much. This Shining Dragon is just some kid. I'm not after the Shining Dragon. I want the man who crushed Gay Bulg. Aha! Uh -huh. The so-called Dragon Slayer. That's the one. He might actually give me a real fight. Just thinking about it is getting my blood pumping. Unfortunately for you, the man is entirely irrelevant to our campaign. You will have nothing to do with him. You stick to your campaign, military man. If I get a shot at him, it's on. Still, I've got no idea where he is. Man, it could be ages before I get to fight him. As long as I'm stuck like this, I guess I could lend you a hand. Might be a fun way to kill some time. I see. Well then, Zest. You may search for the Dragon Souls at your leisure, but when we have obtained all of them, we will speak further regarding your role. As for the rest of you, your top priority will be to find and acquire the souls of the World Dragons. We cannot tiptoe around my father's age. His time in this world grows short, and we must grant his wish before it is too late. If we were to lose father now, the Empire would be thrown into chaos, just like the bloodbath ten years ago. We cannot let history repeat itself. It has taken ten years of my father's rule to bring peace back to our Empire. If I may, Princess Excella, does the threat of civil war truly demand such concern? After all, the power of the Draco Machina ended that infighting a decade ago. Power still at your command, Your Highness. Georg, I hope you do not mean to insinuate that I alone quelled the rebellions. There are consequences for insulting my father and his achievements. You are not exempt from them. I suggest you speak with more caution. Assuming you prefer your head remain on your shoulders. I meant no offense. Forgive me, Your Highness. I'll be sure to keep your contrition in mind. More importantly, Put all available resources toward uncovering the souls of the World Dragons. If we fulfill my father's wish, we guarantee the prosperity of the Empire. Understood. Rest assured, the Dragon Souls will be ours. Indeed. I'm counting on your success. 
Now, you're dismissed. Hmm. Hmm. You were right after all, Beatrice. The normal approach isn't going to cut it this time. Told you. Well, she's certainly eager to grant the Emperor's wish. <laughs> that obsession should help her sniff out the dragon souls for us. Continue your efforts, Beatrice. Tend to Her Highness's every whim, and never leave her side even for a moment. Oh, I know. I'll handle it. Good. I leave her to you. Not a moment to herself, huh? I guess that means I might run into them again. Never thought I'd see a familiar face here. I'm sorry. I have to go now. But here, you can have this. Listen. It's a pretty song, right? If you're ever sad or hurt, maybe you can listen to this and feel a little better. I hope I see you again. Bye-bye. And with that, she left me a music box. After she left, it didn't take long before the music stopped. I remember feeling so lonely after that. I tried to make it play again, but I couldn't. I didn't have the key. She must have forgotten to give it to me. Now that I think about it, she was kind of scatterbrained. When I noticed I didn't have the key, I remember I felt so sad. But then it occurred to me. I'm sure I'll see her again someday. I can just borrow it from her then. For now, I can still remember the melody. That's all I need.
you have in mind. Come back any time. Hey there. Welcome.
Yes.
received an urgent message from Captain Leston, the commander of the Elven Knights from Wellant. It sounds like he's seeing a lot of Imperial activity in Claval Crags. You think they're preparing for an attack? We can't say for certain, but it sounds like another group of Wellant team knights are locked in a standoff in the mountains to the east. We're worried the Empire might try to catch them in a pincer strike, but the Knights can't risk an immediate maneuver. So, I would have your team move in and strike before the enemy can finish their preparations. I understand. Where is the enemy based? The commander will brief you himself. Sir Lester, if you wouldn't mind. Of course. Allow me. For this operation, I ask that you look to Sir Lestin for further instructions. Good luck to you all. Yes, Father. You can count on me. By your leave, Your Majesty. Now, our circumstances are as follows. Cleston, my man! Long time no Magnum, still alive, I see. Jeez, man, cold as ice. Is that any way to greet an old buddy? I was not summoned for my proficiency in greetings, Agnum. I am here to conduct a war. You two are the same as ever, huh? There's something weirdly comforting about it. Huh, Sonia. You seem likewise unchanged. <laughs> Even humans can't change in just a couple months. Oh, but there is something I should mention. We have a new friend with us. Let me introduce you to Yuma. Yuma, this is Leston. Nice to meet you. Yuma, so you're the one. You're the vessel of the Shining Dragon then. I would speak plainly with you. The Shining Dragon's power is a double-edged sword. If wielded improperly, it could just as easily destroy the world as save it. Speak. Are you capable of controlling that power? Oh, I... I, um... Well, that hardly inspires confidence. Barely an answer at all. Then let me make myself clear. If you ever lose control of your power... I will kill you myself. <laughs> you seem surprised. 
If you pose that much of a threat to your own allies, isn't it natural that you should be eliminated? Brother. Speak, Kirika. I will allow no more disrespect to his radiance. I spoke with no disrespect. It was a statement of fact and nothing more. I've opposed using the Shining Dragon's power from the very beginning. You know this. I do, and my feelings remain unchanged. His radiance will save Astoria. I'm sure of it. Well, back to the matter at hand. If you examine this map, you'll note the enemy is gathering at this point in the cracks.
I see. All right. If it's around there, I think we can drive them back. They won't cause your unit any trouble. Our lives are in your hands. We must avoid an ambush from the rear flank at all costs. Now, I should be going. My presence is needed on the front lines. Understood. Leave the rest to us. We'll be setting out immediately. He'll kill me? He talks like I don't already know the Shining Dragon is dangerous. But no, I have to show him I can control it. If I work hard and train myself, I know I can do it.
Yeah. 